He is with her right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't made any video in a while, but today I have a topic. So like, I went on a date since I haven't been on a date for a very long time since COVID started, since like January 2020. So, uh, like two days ago, I went on a date and he thinks I'm creepy. So like, let's have a story time. I met this guy off Tinder. So he texted me on Instagram because I put Instagram on my Tinder, like Tinder profile. I don't really use Tinder anymore, like not really active on Tinder. So he like texted me on, on Instagram and then like he texted, he texted me on Tinder. Oh, I DM you on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So I talked to him. So when we start talking, so, so he from like, you guys from LA, blah, blah, blah. Like anyway, like, so we, so we were talking for like a little, like for days, like we talking like, all day like we seem to click like on text a lot like we have a lot of things to talk about we talk about everything like politics anything and it seems like we really like hit it off so i was like a little excited like oh this guy seems something and he like the way he talks like made he f made me feel like oh he seems very genuine like he seems very like, nice person so, like he wanted something meaningful out of like dating that's that's how i perceive anyway like so like we were planning on meeting up and then at first we planned on meeting up on saturday and then his plan changed so we went up meeting on like thursday at first he said like maybe saturday or friday eventually his plan changed so we end up meeting on thursday so it seems fine like so we were talking a lot and it seems very nice i think we like there's a lot of things to talk about and he's always talk about like oh he's shorter than me like this is not a problem and it's really not a problem like okay i used to have like i really like a taller guy like 5 11 6 feet <clears throat> that kind of range because i'm like 5 9 so i really want like a guy that's taller than me and that really like not really a problem after talking to him i feel like it's it could be like I could look away because I feel like his personality is like very fit, like to my liking. Like he seems attentive. He seems he seems very good for profile. Like, we've been talking. So on Thursday we met. So on the date, the the car took him was like driving around, and it took him like two hours to meet me. And he was like around like almost an hour late. So it was a little weird for me to like be on the first date and late. And the thing is like I asked him like okay, so he said the car was has a problem. So I asked him to tag like capture like like uh, where he where like where he is and like I was like okay, I'm offered to call and talk with the taxi and find out what happened. He didn't let me like see where he were or talk with the taxi. He said he solved the problem himself, which great. So on the date. We went out, we ate, and then we talked. So like, there's the same thing. Like, I think there were some sort of connections. Like, and then we were for drinks, so we went for a drink, so we changed to like a rooftop bar. So like, everything seems great. Like we hang out since seven to like midnight. The rooftop bar, like we sit down, and like he hold my hands, hand, I put his arm around my, around me. It sounds romantic, okay? That's like what the first date should be, like something soft and gentle and not too aggressive. And I liked at him that he doesn't really like talk about sex. He never talk about sex. He never mentioned sex. He never mentions like anything that would make me feel uncomfortable. Like he never talked about any topic that made me feel uncomfortable. So I thought like, wow, this guy could be perfect, except the height. So I can compromise, right? So everything seems fine, and then uh, we're gonna go home. Like we were gonna go home. So like, I asked him like, okay, so since like, we're not meeting like, on Friday, like what what what's like what was your plan? And he was like, oh, I don't know. Am I just like uh, editing and stay stay in and rest? Cause he was so tired. He had like a lot of Zoom call. Like he here to do research for his like uh, PhD paper. He said did like Japanese and Thai politics relationships. So he's like, okay. So I was like, okay. I asked that question because I I was like, uh, since he's going to be here only for two weeks, maybe he wanted to ask me out. I get like tomorrow because I felt like I had guys ask me like, oh, 
since like we already met, it's like you want to meet again tomorrow, or, like the next other day, I'm free, blah blah blah. I had that a lot, so I thought that would happen again. So, but he didn't. So he didn't. So then I came home. We text. He's like, it was nice. That he enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. So we kept talking for a little bit and went to bed. And then like, and then on Friday, everything seemed perfect. Like it's like normal. We text, we talk, and blah blah blah. And I was still, I was still like, I was still waiting to like, okay, so when is he gonna ask me out again? Because like we made plan that he's gonna. I'll go to the gym together because he's gonna teach me something because like I'm really bad at training and I, I've been doing a lot of gym like I'm trying to lose some weight so he didn't ask anything so it's okay let's maybe like he asked again later so like at that at that evening he started to get really quiet and I was like wow like he normally texts me like every five minutes and now he's like taking hours to answers and well, maybe he's like doing editing like every night like the past like four or five days that we talk, like he texts very fast. Like every night, like we talks like all night until like he went to bed or I went to bed. So I was okay. He didn't answer anything until like nine and ten. I'm gonna sleep and he like disappear. So I was like browsing Instagram because like, we talked through, like we talked through Insta, like we talked through Instagram. So like, uh, I don't really know why he didn't ask for WhatsApp or any of that. It's a little, a little, like, a little dodgy for me that he never asked for number or any of that. I was thinking about that too. So I was like, okay, he didn't answer, so I look, so I click at his profile, and then I click at Instagram, and then, like, this, like, there's, like, girl's profile popping up on my Instagram, and I was like, oh, okay, let's check it out. So I clicked it, and then, like, I see her story, so I was like, okay, let's click her story, like, who is she? So I clicked it, and then I skip 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 and then I was like oh he is with her right now and I was I was I was a little shocked though first of all I didn't know he's gonna be seeing a lot of girls I'm being okay I was I was being stupid to think that like he coming to Thailand and would he be meeting a lot of girls or meeting other girls because I think that was a lot of white people coming here for sorry for like generalizations but I think like a lot of guys coming I mean, here, they want to meet a lot of people. That and that's something that I'm not signing up for. Like I will never meet with someone who want to meet with a lot of people because I'm looking for something a little bit more exclusive. Especially during COVID, like I do not want to expose myself with people who will meet like ten or thousands of people. I was shocked, and then it's like his like her friends tagged her like story, and then she like reposted and said, "Oh, see." She brought her boyfriend and like it took a picture of him and her and I was like, oh, so are they like boyfriend girlfriends and what happened to me yesterday? And then it, I, I didn't think that it would be boy, boyfriend girlfriend. Like to be honest, I, I don't know, I cannot, I cannot be a mistress, right? So uh, her friends like tagged her again, so I clicked that like her friends Instagram and then I saw like he holding her hands on street so he met with me like yesterday and then today he like met another girls and holding hands on street I mean, that's very creepy like why would you like met with someone after me when you said like oh you really enjoyed the date why would you ask me out again like and then we me I got very annoyed very upset so I confronted him on, like I texted him like, okay, have fun with your date. I don't want to talk to you again because like I really don't like this kind of like situations. And then he was like, whoa, 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 like what happened? Blah blah. It took him like very long time to answer though, like very very late. And he was like, he was like, oh, I was meeting with friends. I was just having a drinks. Like what happened? And I was like, and I I was gonna tease him. I was like, oh, I'm behind you, but clearly I can't because like he in the car. So I was like. I saw everything with my own eyes, which I did though, through Instagram. But at first I didn't tell him, I was like, I was trying to like, see how he's gonna react. So he was like, he was, I was like, you were, we were, you are wearing red shirt and a short. And he was like, how did you know that? And I was like, because I saw it. And he was like, you being, like, you being creepy, like you're stalking me. And I was like, I'm not stalking you. Like I just saw it on Instagram. It's 2021, people post stuff on Instagram all the time and I think it's like 
something made me meant like something made me want to see that. It's odd. Like I would never like click on some random profile, but then I clicked it and I found it. And seriously, like I confronted him and he thinks that I'm creepy. Which okay, I could be a little creepy, but like the way he met me and said like and said that everything was nice and he wanted to see me again like hang out more and then the next day he went out and holding other girl's hand that's very creepy so i was angry upset and disappointed i thought like this could be something maybe we had like uh chemistry we could be something like i could hang out with him every day until he's go back to where we're from like i think he's gonna go back to austin texas or japan i don't know like i was like, okay like wherever he's gonna go back like maybe that would be something and then blah blah, blah. i was planning things yeah i know very very bad of me very like i know it's like i should think i should take things very slow because it's his first date and I did though, like nothing happened, we just like hang out, have drinks, and then we talk a lot. I, I got carried away thinking that he liked me and I liked him and we, and we would be hanging out. Like like before, like the date bef like the date before I had in years ago, like when someone liked me, I would like, we would try to hang out like a lot, like every day, every other day, or when it would be free, kind of like that, which is like not true in this case. So he was like, so what do you want? Do you want to talk again? You don't want to want, you don't want to talk because I call him a player. And he said he like, he kind of offended him calling him player because he, he said like, uh, he's not a player, like he's single, he can meet whoever he wants. And I was like, yes, you can meet whoever you want. But like, if you're not telling me that you're going to be seeing a lot of people, that's kind of a player because I, I'm not signing up for that. And he said like, he didn't have sex with her. like. They're just holding hands, it's just... And honestly, I think if I didn't, like, confronted him, he would never tell me that he went out with other girls. He would just tell me that he went out with friends. Like, yeah, I, I was, like, a little hesitant. Like, I feel like the trust was gone now. Like, I don't trust him anymore. Like, if he were to be honest with me from the start, like, I want this, I want that, and didn't talk to me the way he talked to me, I wouldn't be so upset. I would be understandable because, like, he here for like four weeks. He wanted to do stuff. Sure, I understand. But then he didn't. So I texted him like a very long text explaining a lot of things, like how I feel, like what do you want. It's like I feel like okay, if he wanted to talk again, then there's some certain things that I want from him. But then he was like, and then he woke up and he texted me like, "Oh, this is like way too much." Like. I don't think this is gonna work, and he like blocked me. Ah. So he called me creepy, and then he blocked me, and then I don't think he think that what he did is was wrong or creepy. Like I found that very creepy too. But all in all, I think he's a nice person. So like, I know I'm telling his story, but I think he's a nice person. It's like the way I talk to him, I think he's just nice. But it's like I think his mindset's on holidays make him feel like he wants something different than mine. Like our expectations were not the same. Like I'm just want to share my story. I'm not trashing him. Like and I'm not telling you who he is clearly. Like I'm not telling you. Maybe you find him. He's like study PhD in Austin doing Japanese and Thai relations. Maybe you know who he is. <laughs> yes. Anyway, like, dating sucks, and it's really difficult to date. Like, I feel like I either find someone that I don't like, or someone I like but turn out to be an asshole. Like, it's very difficult. Like, and it's exhausting. Like, I'm exhausted of, like, even just this, I'm exhausted. I, I'm, I imagine if I'm dating someone, like, seriously, I would be even more exhausted because that would be dating, dress up, eating, going out, stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my video and if you if you think I'm creepy, let me know. Like, which one do you think creepier? I can be a little creepy that I confronted him and I saw stuff on Instagram. Or he's creepy because he meeting girls, like a lot of girls, and like putting everyone hands. 
like, which one is creepier? Like, yeah, maybe we like a good couples because we both we both are creepy. <laughs> I don't know. If you enjoyed my video and don't forget to give me a lot of like. And I promise I will make more video in the future. At least he has good content for all of you. Bye.